Good morning, fairy grasshoppers. I have to show you this. So I left. I'm, we're going to do a card reading. That's what we're going to do. That's what this video is. It's a card reading. <laughs> okay. So I left for my trip to Florida and I come home and look at what happened to the kitchen table. Hello, we've got Minecraft everywhere. <laughs> this is where I usually do my card readings. <laughs> So we're going to have to make some do with some cute little pandas. We'll just call, consider them totem animals. So my son also said there's like sheep somewhere, I think. Is this a sheep? I don't know. Let's just turn this a little bit and see. I don't know. I brought this one back. There's a Lego store in Disney Springs in Orlando, Florida. And I brought this little set back for, for my son. So look at the, oh, it's panda, it's so cute. Okay, so panda, this is a totem actually. Let's start here. I'm not kidding, see? You guys, there's information all around you. It is all around us all the time. No wonder why empaths are sensory overloaded. And I should say, I have to kind of talk a little quietly because one of my kids is asleep in the living room and it's early morning, so. So a panda, this is a totem animal. <clears throat> it's a form of a bear and bears are about protection. Mama bear. Um, feeling protective of the people in your life, feeling like the one who has to protect others. Very common for people who are empathic or people who are psychic and sensitive to energy. And you're probably that in your relationship, I bet you anything. That you are a, have a little bit of a bear totem energy. It doesn't mean you fight. Bears don't necessarily fight. They are very focused on their relationships with their children and protective of those that they love. So these are not bad qualities at all. They're just maybe misunderstood sometimes when we encounter them in nature, right? When we enter their habitat across their path and they see us as a threat, right? So the panda though, because it's black and white, is about contrast and understanding. It's, it's, it's like resp in response to a request for clarity. So if you've been asking for clarity, literally me just picking up this panda and focusing on it and talking about it might be the signal that you needed to let you know that clarity is on its way. That the reason why things are cloudy and confusing right now is because things are being sifted and sorted by the universe. And that happens energetically and we can't know all the things. We can't know all the steps, all the in, into, intricate, I cannot say that word, all the tiny details, <laughs> okay. It's too early. I did have a half a cup of coffee and a cookie this morning. So, so panda bear, panda, black and white, helping us to use our discernment to sort things out. But it's not about you actively thinking about things. Sometimes you're over analytical, right? This is more about, it feels like it's a signal for you that, hey, if this is happening already. There is a sorting out of things. So you will have clarity. If you've been asking for clarity, you will have it. It's coming, it's on its way. It's closer than you think. Black and white again, also the contrast of the panda, the balancing the both sides of ourselves, the light and the shadow. And life is about the good feelings and the not so good feelings. And they're all a mix, right? It's not all so neatly separated as it is here. So you know when the shadow is or you know when the light is. You are often in the light and then you start to feel some shadow because they're so in interwoven and connected. And the opposite happens. When you're in the shadow and you're willing to embrace that and just be in acceptance, embracing the shadow doesn't mean you live it and you're a depressing person. That's not what shadow means. Do not worry about that. It doesn't mean you're gonna go into a deep depression if you work on your shadow. It means you're gonna acknowledge the feelings that you haven't been acknowledging. That's all the shadow means. Okay, sweet one, are you listening to me? That's all the shadow means. It's not gonna consume you. It feels like it sometimes, but that's because you're in it. When you're willing to be in it, it's tough for a bit and then it breaks loose and then you feel better, you do, you feel so much more at peace after. <sighs> Not after everything is magically done and better, but after you let yourself feel, just feel for a few minutes and let yourself be with that. Try not to be so afraid of those feelings. Wow, that's a deep hello, that's okay. All right, are you ready to do some cards? Okay, I'm gonna have to, let's see how I'm gonna do this here. 
do one handed card deck. You guys, I haven't done this deck for a while. I've been gone and I had, did not bring this with me. I did not have not done a card pull for a week. Yes, actually it's nine days now. It's been nine days since I've done a card pull. So you guys get to see this nice and fresh, fresh perspective. Actually, this one right here at the back is really feeling very available. So we're just gonna use that one. This is the 13 Moon Oracle deck. You guys know this deck. This is the Divine Feminine deck. It's kind of fascinating, isn't it? The contrast here. So these are my kids' Legos, right? And this is about Divine Feminine. So for me, as you know, the work that I've been doing this year is about releasing and evolving my mother role. My, my definition of the divine mother and that is me I am her and she is me and we are her all of us right okay so let's see what this card is any kind of feels on this I didn't ask for a specific topic although we did talk about the shadow we talked about clarity so let's see kind of what shows up here all right let's take a nice breath in beautiful exhale come on beautiful one yeah oh good oh i literally felt grounded my root chakra just literally went okay and connected into the earth <laughs> very nice very nice all right so here we are yeah i'm getting some feelings about this here just a second actually before i flip it over i'm just going to kind of get some infused knowledge or wisdom take a moment to receive your own message here and now just breathe in gently softly and sweetly and infuse the knowledge of energy that is within you she is within you you are within her you are the divine feminine you are the beautiful divine woman you are you are the one that keeps the wisdom for yourself you are the one that can shed light on challenging and difficult situations you are the one that loves you through along the adventure the exploration in the depths of the night when you cannot sleep you are the one that is there you are turn to the wisdom within you and be be known be seen and to be with the powerful person that you are the soul's light is always on within you nice breath in Big exhale out. I feel a lot of moon energy, like full moon energy, which is like clearing. Whoa. And I think today I am going to do a ceremonial clearing for myself. I definitely need that for sure. It's probably overdue. I gotta clear some stuff. Got a lot of stuff in the field here. Are you ready? Thank you for being patient. Oh my goodness. Um, hello Kali this is symbolic of the goddess Kali I've worked with Kali for a very long time Kali Ma is how I refer to her Kali Ma Kali Ma is the overseeing mother she is the creator the preserver and the destroyer when you want discernment this is the woman you call in her essence will provide clarity in three levels not simply with the contrast of the black and the white but she will divide up your things into past present and future where you should focus is in the present if you need a clearing to release perhaps the past will be part of the entanglement into the future that can be complicated but she will help you she will help you to loosen up those bonds that tie you and pull you backwards so that you can be here and free in the now you are not free in the future you see that is a myth Kali would say to you freedom does not come in the future it is here and it is now she would say something like I am right here now join me here now feel my realness here and now this card actually says liberation freedom freeing you from past constraints this is the frequency of the colors of white 
and black, just like that little panda bear. For clarity, the energy of fire is very present here. That's what we're seeing here. This vibration of this red root chakra energy. This is almost like we're looking downward at a cauldron. We're looking downward at a pot that's boiling. And that's kind of how it feels to me. It almost feels like there's this overlay. So here's a pot boiling and it's almost like there's this overlay of like a magnifying glass that's amplifying what's inside cooking. What's inside swirling around. What's inside is integrating. It's not necessarily, you are not necessarily processing something right now so that you can express it and share it with the world and create something awesome and make a big change or take action. You might be processing something within you, deep in that low belly, that sacral chakra, that solar plexus chakra energy space, those two together, where the point is to integrate, integration. And perhaps the way to liberate ourselves is to integrate integrate more fully our gifts, integrate more fully the understanding of the feelings that we have as profound and deep as they are. There is meaning in the depth of our feelings and it can be so, so hard to feel those. I know as an empath, I've been really dealing with some deep, wow, just some deep feelings, you guys. And I do understand if you're feeling those de depth of feelings that it can be really hard to even want to get out of bed, you know, to move through life, to do the mundane things like grocery shop or to do the important things like actually go to work or take the kid to the doctor or get the paperwork done for school, etc. right? I understand you. If you are right here, let's utilize Kali and the inspiration of, of the simplicity of the black and white of the clarity, of the clarity that comes. And this red is just the rich blood of the mother. This is the, the life blood. This is what moves through our veins like a lava, like the fire of desire in the low belly mixing in with the water to soothe it so it doesn't get so unbearable or burning inside. And sometimes I do literally feel burning when I feel energy, sometimes I can feel like it's burning me, like my feelings. I just feel that and, and I understand that feelings have such a depth about them. And there is, I promise you that there is a purpose in the depth of that. And here, what's showing up here is integration. You will be liberated from those intensity, the intensity of you. You are not too much. You are not too much. You are powerful. You're not too much. You're not too much. You are powerful. You're powerful. Acknowledge that within you, inside of you, other people don't have to see it for it to be your truth. Other people don't get to see your inner wisdom because it's for you. That's why it's inner. It's in, not out. It's in. It's not in because it's hiding. It doesn't need to be released so everybody can see it. It needs to be with you, within you, embodied by you, received by you, understood by you. Body, mind, heart, and soul. Kalima comes in to love us. She comes in to love us through the depths of our feeling. She will help you to understand, to do the sorting out of what isn't yours can go. And what is yours? Deciding what to do with that through the integration process, the distilling process, the boiling process. Mm. The yellow energies here out at the edges. I'm feeling citrine, maybe amber. Some of you would really identify with amber, the amber stone. It's a very powerful feminine stone. For me, I need the softness right here, right now today of the citrine, which is very clearing, very much clarity, a clarity stone. It reminds me of my friend, Archangel Gabriel, who's very fun and loving and talks to me often about communication and connection. And so this is again a layer, communication and connection is another layer of understanding of ourselves. All right, so let's read what the card says here. It says balance, fluidity, dissolution, non-resistance, and freedom. It's always interesting when you see the word non in front of a word, another word, when you're doing metaphysical things, because it's like the undoing of, the undoing of, it's not this, but it might feel like this. 
So if you're in a state like this where stuff is going on and you feel like it could be resistance or blocking or there's something blocking you, it might be that what's happening is what you're feeling is that cauldron pot of energy and you're bumping up against the edge of the cauldron because things are being worked out inside of it and you can't know all that. Newsflash, you can't know all that. So you're really in non-resistance even if you feel blocked like it could be resistance, it's not. Sometimes that is misinterpreted. Sometimes it is integrating. Okay, so take a nice breath in with that wisdom. That's a powerful re revelation for some of you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Take a nice breath in. Sweet exhale, just a sweet, soft. Exhale out. Yeah. There you go. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, this is a powerful card and it could be seen as a catalyst right now here. I feel like it is very purposeful. It's got just a purpose that is strong and steady and stable, acknowledging our natural processing of our feelings and our emotions and the natural cycle of life. The three parts are the three stages, the beginning, the middle, and the ending. And then it starts again, the beginning, the middle, the ending, and it starts again. It starts again. It's like morning, noon, and night. It's past, present, and future. I love that. Also, as I'm looking at this card, I see these four points, which reminds me of four pillars, which is a tool that I use in client sessions, especially if I'm doing a psychic reading focused kind of a session, very psychic session where someone needs to kind of have that really strong feeling of safety and security and like they're protected in a container, a safe container. The four pillars or four points of light is what I'll use to connect. So I'm acknowledging that. I'm also acknowledging that this could be a, like a compass for you. The four points of light could be like a compass and balancing your energies. Do you see that? Do you see that right there? Do you exactly see that? Oh, yes. And here you are at the core center. This is not negative or scary, okay? It's not. <laughs> it's just maybe a lot, okay? You might be processing a lot, and that's okay. You guys, it's okay. Do you hear me? It's okay. Your root chakra is activated with the color red. Your solar plexus is activated with the yellow. And the energy of the black is what transmutes the energy that is not helping you, not helpful to you, and and allowing you to integrate. That's what the black does. It, it just really kind of absorbs the energy. So it's integration, integration, integration. And of course, we have to have some fire elements, sacral chakra, some yellow mixed with the, the red to create sort of this orange hue of the flame. So, all right, my friends. Wow, that's deep. Isn't that deep? I love this. I feel this. This feels, it's deep, but it doesn't feel bad. Like, like it's too much. It feels right on target. It feels exactly right. So take a breath in. Nice. Exhale out. Just release. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Ooh, and my heart just started beating a little hard there. Ooh, I think I'm going to need to do some heart breath work. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to breathe that heart space a little bit. This is Bridget. Thanks so much for watching my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel. I look forward to sharing with you videos multiple times a week to inspire your spirit and fill you with hope. Videos like this, like a card reading, videos about intuitive topics, and also my psychic vlogs from my very real psychic life. Thanks so much for being here.